What's going on you guys? Welcome to a brand new video here at Pork Dispatch. So it's been a while since I haven't talked to you guys over the page, but it is what it is. Here we are with a brand new section. So a little bit of background. Do you guys remember when we were sharing the weekly reports, like showing you the top drivers of the week with that video on the histories, on the histories of Instagram? So now we're going to do something similar, but instead of just share a cool video, we're going to make a breakdown going through every single load the top driver took that week. Does it make sense? So anyways, this time we're going to talk about the company Stewart's Business Logistics and Transportation. If you want to call it with a short name or a DBA, Stewart's BLT, amazing company. I say that before. Um, and the driver, specifically is called Gary. He's Gary Brown. Amazing driver. No complaints about anything. He takes whatever the load is. If it's tall, if it's low, if it's long, short, a little bit heavier than 16,000 pounds. If you got to be tarp or now, doesn't matter as long as the money is right. Those are the type of drivers we're looking for here at Torque Dispatch. So, <clears throat> with that being said, let's go into the spreadsheet. So, the first load we took this week was on May 20, dropping off on Saturday the 22nd. It was from Always Trucking, from Taylor, South Carolina to Princeton, Minnesota for 3500 It was a pretty good rate, it was a light load, and to be honest with you, I believe I was looking for only a couple hours and that load popped up. Uh, it was pretty, I mean, it was pretty easy. We were already set up with that broker. I worked with that specific agent before, so the result came out pretty quick. We got the Raycon, we picked that up, and we just went forward. So here's one thing, here's, here's one concern I had when I booked this load. This load got picked up on Thursday and was gonna be dropping off on Saturday. So pretty much we had the possibility of miss a day. Does it make sense? Because regardless, he won't be able to pick anything on the weekend. Or that's what I thought when I booked the load. But surprisingly, I found another load from uh, Minnesota all the way down to Kentucky that got picked up on Saturday the 22nd, got dropped off on Tuesday the 25th after the reset, the 34 hours reset, and it went from Farmington, Minnesota to Newport, Kentucky for $2,000. I believe it was like 225 a mile or something like that. But for a load being picked up on Saturday, I believe that's pretty cool. I believe that's pretty good. Then we picked up another one on Tuesday, dropping off on Wednesday, short run, easy one, Springfield, Ohio, Des Moines, Iowa, 1550. Then we took the last one for Wednesday to Thursday to close up the week. It was from TMC Logistics again from Burlington, Iowa to Arlington, Wisconsin for $1,400. So that one had a pretty high rep per mile. If I'm not wrong, it was only like 250 miles or something like that. And we made like $6 a mile on that one. We had pretty good revenue on that load. So now let's look at the mileage. So. Here we have a breakdown of a full route, so you guys can know how did it look like. So he went out from Taylor, South Carolina, all the way down to Farmington, Minnesota. He picked up in Princeton again, came all the way down to Newport, Kentucky, Newport, Kentucky. picked up in Ohio, went all the way to uh, Des Moines, Iowa, came down to Burlington, and then finally up in Wisconsin. All that gave us a grand total of 3,080 miles. And if you do the math, we have $3,500 plus $2,000 plus $1,550 plus $1,400. That's going to give us a total of $8,450 in seven days. Probably he drove five days within the seven days of a week. Thursday to Thursday, and if we divide this between 3,050 miles, if I'm not wrong, that's going to give us a total of 277 per mile. But taking count of this, 
We're counting every single mile he drove since from Taylor, South Carolina to the final destination in Arlington, Wisconsin. So we're counting the dead heads here. 277 with a dead head, with a hot shot trailer. You guys will let me know. What do you think about this wick? What do you think about this driver? What do you think about this route? Let me know in the comments. If you, if you think this is a pretty good week for a hot shot or if you can do it better. So, let me know. <laughs> I'm open to any kind of suggestions here to make the business better for everybody. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.